What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Absolutely huge day of news. I think I've got five different topics to cover for you today. So if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe or follow button down below so you can more easily find my videos. It looks like we've got the exciting conclusion of Tim Cast, Tim Pool versus Patrick Bet David. And I got to admit, based on some inside digging I did, talking to some people over there, as well as what's been posted publicly, it kind of looks like PBD lied. Um, it kind of doesn't look awesome for PBD. Um, again, these are two big guys in the you know in the space. Both of them way bigger than me. Both of them make more money than I ever will. Okay, we can acknowledge all of that. There's a reason I make videos about Patrick, Bet David, and Tim Pool. I know my role. Okay, I'm just I'm fine where I'm at though, and I appreciate you tuning in. And I don't mean, you know, at the end of the day, this is just doldrums of summer drama that hopefully is over now. I've got a pretty big, I've got a couple, lot of uh, b a bigger videos coming today, including my ongoing reporting on the fast food collapse, which is getting even weirder. So the TLDR is essentially Patrick Bet David hosts a debate with Chris Cuomo and um, Dave Smith. Uh, nobody likes Chris Cuomo. There are Patrick Pet David fans that hope that he can save Cuomo. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's true. I mean, I think that you have to hold out hope for just about everybody to have some level of redemption arc. For me, uh, I, I don't care about Chris Cuomo. There is literally nothing he can do to make up for what he's done. Uh, he is uh, and a vile human being um, who wanted half of this country in the ground. Okay, if you didn't take his take his jab, he told you to take, and he he made fun of you, and he said you were taking horse paste, and he said that you had to let grandma pass away alone. Um, he pushed the draconian lockdown stuff, so screw him forever. I don't care who he works for. All right. So anyway, uh, Tim, you know, privately or publicly, kind of roasts that hire, which creates this mini rift between Patrick Bet David and Tim Pool. The debate gets announced. Tim Poole then says, I was asked to do this debate and I chose not to, or I said I didn't want to or whatever, which wasn't the whole story because we then found out from Patrick Bet David that Tim had quote unquote demanded a private jet, otherwise he wouldn't go. Okay, well, we then found out there was more to the story. Uh, it wasn't that he just demanded a private jet. It was that based on the time frame, he said, turned it down. Our team, your team spoke on March 25th. Your booker said you wanted us to fly you down in a private jet, which was a strange request, especially after I attended your paid event in Miami, which again, PBD lives in Miami. He All he had to do is take an Uber there. Tim would have had to spend 20 hours flying back and forth. Like they're not the same thing. Um, he then threatens, he says, let us know if you want to see the email exchanges, blah, 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 blah. Makes it look bad for Tim, right? Look, makes Tim look entitled, makes Tim look greedy. Um, that was perfectly or specifically worded in that manner. Then Patrick Bad David uploaded a standalone video of it. Uh, here's where now the new information is coming in. So trying to start beef, this video now that new information has come out has received 1,400 dislikes to just 2,300 likes. So Interestingly enough, if you look, if Tim lied, then call him out. I'm all for that fair game. However, y'all let Cuomo lie to your face. So mo a lot of these people are like, I hate Cuomo. Um, so shout out to those people. Hopefully you'll become a new viewer subscriber for me. Um, you could say Tim is, even people are like, Tim is whiny, but Cuomo's far worse. Um, favors aren't to be thrown in people's faces for later. That's what I said too. He's like, oh, I did him a favor. Why blah, 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 blah. Um, and you see funny, Tim Poole just posted the effing email from PBD, old heads, yo. Always effing lying. Why are you always lying? There's so much disappointing, and this is a, such a disappointing and sad look for you, PBD. Pretty rich to call out Tim for lying when you let that vile trash Cuomo lie all day long and you never hold him down. Um, you know, and now we know Tim released the emails. Patrick Bad David has not responded to these emails because they are pretty rough. Also, what I can confirm is, you know, um, that I, allegedly, I, I guess I can, I can just kind of confirm this. Um, you know, 
it's not uncommon for Tim to f- use a private jet to fly around because he has to get to a place quick and easy. And I guess he makes enough money to be able to afford to do that. He can, you know, canceling a show probably costs him five to ten thousand dollars. So I guess it would make sense. Okay, it's just a weird thing to hear like a YouTuber who does what I do talk about P jets and things like that. Um, now what happened was, you know, Tim basically said one thing about it. Then PBD made a 15 minute video about it without ever texting or calling Tim, um, which is odd. Um, and I guess Tim didn't even know he was mad. Um, so then Tim said, uh, Tim had, I guess, reached out and apologized to him and said like, Hey, sorry about this mix up or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Right. And then, um, I guess Patrick Pat David stood by the video, which is odd, right? Tim reached out, apologized, you know, for the mix up or whatever, um, and asked him, Hey, why'd you make this video calling me a liar? And, uh, Patrick, but David said, I stand by it. You are a liar. That's what I've heard. Um, which is weird because we now know that's not true. Because he released the emails. I privately messaged PBD apologizing for any miscommunication. He made a video calling me a liar. So here's the first email where they did in fact ask my people to have me debate Cuomo. The response we gave was that it was impossible for me to make it without a private jet. And by the way, in that scenario, um, why should Tim pay that cost? Right? Um, so they said... Uh, I hope this email finds you well. Patrick wanted to extend an invitation to Tim to appear on the podcast with Chris Cuomo from our uh, venue. We've previously hosted Candace Owens, our, you know, all these people, whatever, who cares? Tim expressed interest in speaking with Chris. So here's where they were like, hey, do you want to come on? Okay. Then Tim's team responds. Again, this isn't even Tim responding. Unfortunately, because he has a show wrapping up at 10 p.m. Friday night, he would not be able to get a flight on Saturday that would work without the, with the schedule. Let me know if private could be an option. The airport closest to him is, uh, whatever, Frederick, Maryland. Um, then uh, PBD's team wrote back, could Tim do an evening podcast as opposed to a morning episode? We could film for 8 to 10 p.m. podcast to accommodate his travel needs. So they have, so PBD is being on, it was telling the truth about trying to schedule around Tim. Um as for the private plane, we've only flown guests in first or business class. I have to check with corporate on approval for that. This was the last email, Tim says. I didn't think there was beef. I didn't know PBD made a video about me until now. I DM'd him apologizing for the miscommunication. Next time someone asks me to take three days to travel to Miami for their event, I will just politely decline and not offer options. And I don't blame him for feeling this way. Yes, I think it's funny. Um, it's fun to dunk on him needing a private jet, but based on the time constraints and the, and the constraints of his own show, I guess that's the truth. He does need that. Otherwise he just can't go. Right. Um, so then this says private jet works better because the airport situation distance from where it is located. Let me know if you're able to check with corporate. So basically saying, Hey, this is all we can really do. Um, the emails are missing the context between me and our PR people and PBD. I don't know what his people told him, but he said he had the emails. When I saw he called me a liar and I decided I decided just to show the emails. It was simple, cordial, and wrapped. I do again apologize if me if my saying I turned it down was read as snooty. My response it was kind of snooty. Uh, my response was meant to be more along the lines of, hey, we definitely want to do this stuff, but I wasn't able to. That's what he should have said. I, I think his response was kind of snooty. Um, he obviously acknowledges that by saying that. He should have just said the second thing. I was thinking we were doing these debates. And then you see from the Lake and Riley family donation fiasco to hammering on Jason Whitlock. And now this, I just can't take PBD seriously anymore. Your emails were on point. PBD is in the wrong here, either by malice or a miscommunication of his team. So they were willing to work with you and even fly you up first class, but you demanded a private jet. Again, I don't think that that's f- fair. He's had other, other obligations. It'd be like saying, um, you know, like I said, I have a daily show, 5.30 Eastern, which uh, tonight I'll be co-hosting with uh, Melanie Mack. And then Friday, I will have the infamous home math on. So I hope that you'll tune in um, over on the Mean Green site or on my Quartercast channel. You know, Nuance Bro said, if I wanted to go out on a date with Sydney Sweeney, but I wasn't able to, I'd say it was just not possible. I'm not able to. 
Not that I turned it down, LOL. I think most people take I turned it down as you didn't want to or wasn't interested. So I think, yeah, that was a misstep for him to say I turned it down because he really, I mean, he he, he technically he did turn it down because he could have flown commercial and sat 25 hours in the airport just to do a two-hour podcast. He absolutely could have gone. Um, and people saying like, you should be more flexible. I mean, I don't think that he has to be more flexible. The guy, you know, he has, you know, I, I'm with Tim on this one. I got to be honest with you. It, now that the emails are out, it doesn't. It, this video that Patrick had David call, make calling him a liar and then privately telling Tim that he stands by it, that he stands by it, he thinks Tim is a liar. Um, that is a weird hill to die on. Now, hopefully this is the end of it. It's curious that, you know, uh, Patrick Bat David didn't reply to this. With uh, uh, what he's saying, I fully agree with them. However, at the same time, the benefit of us having a private jet right now, we're not doing this because we're trying to say, hey, look how rich we are. No, because we went from Dallas to, you know, Modesto to the, the, uh, uh, Burbank to Santa Ana to Oak Brook to so Patrick by David completely that's him there if you don't recognize him. I mean you he he completely understands the the need if you're going to be in these situations to use a private jet. Um you know, he says we have a private jet. I'm assuming they just leased it. I there are services for this. So was it weird to say, "Hey, I absolutely need a private jet?" Yeah, it came off weird, but now that you see the context of it, I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, I think the whole thing, if you made it this far in the video, really stems from, really just stems from Patrick Bet David being stung that uh, Tim Pool criticized him hiring Chris Cuomo. Um, maybe he can, maybe he can uh, redeem himself, redeem Cuomo, but he'll never redeem him with me. I could tell you that. Not, not a great look, but hopefully this is over. Uh, I have no interest in watching a debate in which a a, you know, a actual, you know, professional liar debate, somebody who has the receipts and who is not a liar. Uh, it'll be a, you know, unless Chris Cuomo is just apologizing the whole time. And even that will be pathetic. So, you know, best of luck to Patrick, Bat David, best of luck to Tim, uh, two rich guys complaining about rich guy things. Let's get back to, you know, things that more of us can relate to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure you leave a like on it. And we'll talk to you again real soon.